Welcome back, everyone. Here are the stories you need to know about to get your day started. California is the first state in the country to surpass 600,000 coronavirus cases. Despite a decline in daily confirmed cases, the number of people dying from COVID-19 every day in California remains high. The state has reported nearly 11,000 deaths. California has the third most deaths behind New York and New Jersey. Butte County Public Health Thursday reported four additional new deaths of the coronavirus, bringing the total to 12. 16 new cases Thursday as well brought the county total to 1,321. Action News Now also looked into concerns of our viewers regarding Butte County reporting discrepancies. And county health leaders say they believe it's accurate to only report individuals hospitalized who live within the county. The state reports all COVID-19 patients hospitalized in Butte County. Despite a student testing positive for coronavirus, in-person classes will move forward as planned at Corning High School today. Administrators say they learned about the positive case Wednesday. The school said the student in question is on the football team and that person was practicing with the Cardinals team earlier this week. The Honey Run Covered Bridge, destroyed by the campfire, is on a rebound. The Honey Run Covered Bridge Association signed a contract Thursday to start phase one of rebuilding. That groundbreaking is expected in about two weeks. The Bridge Association says construction should be complete by mid-October, but donations are still needed to finish that project. And happening today, hot weather. All of us are being asked to try and conserve energy. The effort is called a flex alert, a statewide call for all of us here in the Golden State to reduce our energy usage from 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. Daytime temperatures are expected to be above 100 degrees into next week. PG&E recommends setting thermostats at 78 degrees or higher. Anthony Francis Jr., this man, will be in court today for the first time. The 18-year-old is charged with the murder of Jessica Anea on July 25th. Investigators say they arrested Francis after finding Anea with severe trauma to her body. Investigators attempted to revive her, but she died at the scene. Francis faces charges of second-degree murder. The Butte County Community Action Agency is holding its latest drive through food giveaway. It's set for Saturday. It will be held in the parking lot of Cards Community Park on Martin Luther King Boulevard from 9 a.m. or until or from 9 a.m. until noon or until supplies run out. The food will be pre-boxed to allow on-site volunteers to easily place them in cars, and people are asked to stay in their cars to maintain social distancing.